In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use CSS to center things like text and images. Start by going to littlewebhut.com where we can use the code tester to easily test our code. And then press on CSS at the top of the page and then select the width property. And if you press the test at XHTML style button, that'll bring up a code tester with some code already entered in for us. And we just need to make a couple of quick modifications to get started. So start by going over to this P tag right here and delete the ID attribute. And then go down to the image tag and delete the ID attribute for this one also. And then up in the styles section, delete the styles that are shown here. Now you can press the test button to see what we have as our starting point. So here we have two lines of text and we have an image. And I'm going to show you how to center all of these things. The text is contained in a paragraph tag. So let's add a style to the paragraph tag to set the background color to yellow. And that way we can see how wide this paragraph tag is. And then let's press the test button to take a look at this. We can see that the paragraph tag takes up the entire width of the available space. And that's because the paragraph tag is a block level element. So now if we want to center this text within the paragraph tag, we just need to go up here and use the text align property. And we'll set this to a value of center. And now let's press the test button. Now we can see that the text is centered, but now let's add a width to the paragraph tag. And let's set this to 250 pixels. And now you can see that the text is still centered within the paragraph element. The background of the paragraph element is set to yellow, but the paragraph element itself is not centered within the page. So I'll show you how to center the entire paragraph element in the center of the available space here. Centering things in general requires three properties to be set. And I've got these listed right here. The first one is that the element needs to be a block level element. And since we're centering this P element, the P is already a block level element. And then we need to have a width set, and we just set the width to 250 pixels. So then the last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that the left and right margins are set to auto. So let's do that. So here I'll just set margin left, and I'll set this to auto, and then margin right, and I'll also set this to auto. And now when I press the test button, you can see that the entire paragraph tag has now been centered. And since we had used the text align property earlier, the text is centered within the paragraph tag. So now let's center our image that we have here. So we'll go up to the style section and we'll apply some styles to the image tag. Let's start by applying the margin left and the margin right properties. So I'll set the margin left to auto, and then I'll set the margin right, and I'll also set this to auto. And we're not finished yet, but let's go ahead and press the test button. You'll see that nothing happens. The image is not centered, even though we had the margin left and the margin right property set to auto. So to find out why, we just need to come over here to see what our requirements need to be for centering objects. Here we have the left and right margins set to auto because we just did that. We need to set the width, but an image has an inherent width automatically set into it, which is the actual size of the image itself. And here's the reason that it's not centered right now. It's because we need this to be a block element and image elements are inline elements. So all we need to do is change this to a block element and then it will center itself. So we just go over here and we use the display property here, and we just need to set this to block. And now when we press the test button, the image is now centered. So the things to remember are that the text align property centers the text within the element that it's contained in, and in our case here, it was the P element. And if we want to center the P element itself or the image element, we just need to make sure that all three of these conditions apply and that is that it's a block level element, we have a width set, 
and that the left and right margins are set to auto. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.